What's up, guys? This is D-State. Uh, you're tuning into AVG Productions. Check the interview out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the AVG podcast. Uh, today, we're in Stellenbosch, and we're privileged enough to be interviewing local underground techno producer D-State. Hello, and welcome to the AVG podcast. How are you doing? What's up, guys? Yeah, no, I'm doing well. Glad to be here. That's good. That's good. Uh, you have a beautiful place here in Stellenbosch. It's, I mean, in, in general, Stellenbosch is quite beautiful. Uh, and in general, we actually, we live pretty close to where we met because we met in high school in Stellenbosch. Yeah, yeah I know. That's good to see the boys again. And, yeah. yeah, and I've also host, I've been hosting uh, music, uh, obviously events around Stellies. I'm starting my own brand, my new brand now, Influencers. Tell me a little bit about Influences. What, what is it, an events company? Okay, so like basically at the moment, it's uh, an events company that's growing. And I'm trying to get like a good fan base. Obviously, um, the matrix of today would be basically be interested in this kind of stuff. And like first years and second years, such as that. Um, very tropical vibes. You can most probably compare it where I'm wanting, to, where like I wanted to go would be like We Love Summer or like in the in the shape of get real but more focused on techno okay so a more techno based summer event yeah basically like tropical vibes deep house um basically with my events i i am a dj myself and i want to incorporate like producers not just random djs that play other people's music i want actual producers that make their own music and very exclusive stuff so it's a an event to actually um you know, put a DJ on stage and let him show off his new music, unreleased stuff, and release stuff. So okay, and um, so w- were you born here in Stellies? Uh I was born. Yeah, I was born. Yeah, I've lived on this farm my whole life, Castle Wine Estates, and yeah, Stellies is my my place. So for the the uneducated person, what would you define uh, the the, the Stellies vibe? can i say well what would you say is it all about obviously it's students and stuff like that alcohol partying but what what would you describe it as kind of coming from a like a business point of view as well okay so like yo well Stelly's is by far like the most comfortable vibe i've ever been in like you know in a sense of like you know you always fit in people are very you know it's not a hard place to fit very in accepting yeah very accepting in, in a way and like obviously Stellenbosch, everyone just thinks it's um you know like it's a it's a good place to study obviously as well but everyone just thinks it's just partying there and like it's actually not like there's a lot of people that you know grind down yeah they're working hard on their their studies yeah and like the reason and the thing is town there in the sense of joling and stuff like that is like your your break or your like a way to escape the the whole thing and that's why obviously when i play terrace i kind of try to like give that like home feel where you can escape and you can like you know not think about anything else and just you know have a good time just a, just a yeah. nice place to vibe to with people that you enjoy being with i remember at break you you'd run to me with these like you know shitty earphones you're like yo vincent dude you gotta listen to this yo listen to this beat i just made dude <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, it was hilarious but it, like even back then i could hear there, there were there was something there you know it wasn't just someone playing around on their phone so how old were you and what originally got you into producing uh well like through through high school like um i basically played i the first place i actually played was one of your house parties which is really cool yeah i remember that was my that's when i <laughs> that's the first time i ever went live actually and i actually dj'd with my mate emilio abrams which i'm actually currently producing with okay. we do shout collabs. out emilio yeah shout out emilio there um yeah we've been making some good music but going back to the the whole thing where it started was um I don't know, like, like I used to be that guy where everyone used to come for music, like really good music, and I, for some reason I had like I knew just where to find like really good music and stuff, and yeah, I, people would always like you know tell me like you know like those times where like you're driving in a car or something or you have a, someone has a Bluetooth speaker, they'll be like Darren, connect please or something like that, you know. And then you I kind the of guy. just yeah yeah <laughs> for some <laughs> reason I don't know, and I wasn't like shy to play music, you know, and like I was just okay cool yeah, and I also played drums back in the day still kind of you know jam it out so i've always had like a rhythm you know for music and stuff like that so oh yeah. <laughs> and being a producer you and a dj there's lots of elements to it so you know you can be alone producing in your room you can be as as we said um in front of an entire crowd djing but what's your favorite thing with with the crowd by yourself um listening to the beats after you've made them what what would you say is the your favorite part of the process well if i had to sum it all up that my most favorite thing with like what i'm doing at the moment is like after you've made your 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 track 
and then you get to play it for a big crowd and you can see their reaction yeah like and they actually so like it's it. that, that it's personal intimate feeling of yeah it's like you yeah. know like i made this guys i want to share this with you and they've given the feedback back saying they love it and it's sick dude like i dig that i'm at right and like i can't but, really but just give you gigs on the spot help out the the smaller people like you're doing with your yeah. company and stuff like that but does it become hard sometimes because i can imagine there's lots of just little djs who think they kind of know what's going on whereas they come to this this big guy or relatively big you know d state they're like oh you know can't you get me some shows or whatever has there been times ever where you have to like say no to people or you can just see not, something's not going on for them or what well uh, yeah obviously you don't want to push push yourself into the industry like you got to like work your way in i find like you got to earn your way in you can't just you know um a lot of people out there have connections obviously so that's how they kind of get ahead of me or like ahead of anyone else but um yeah i basically with new guys coming in or even guys that are above me i have respect for them and i show them the ropes and i obviously i show them the way i do things yeah and yeah like the more i can help them the better well what's what's your next step would it be with yourself with the company do you want to go overseas what what do you think is the next step for you as as a as a brand almost well i mean um I'm, f I'm still studying now at the moment so after i've studied and stuff then i kind of want to go overseas a bit what are you busy studying at the moment i'm doing a marketing management degree uh it's going to help with the farm uh, promoting the farm's wine and uh, obviously promoting my brand as as dj yeah so it's actually a it's it's not what you're doing, but it, it is a hundred percent what you're doing. Yeah, you know, being able. To but I'm actually gonna switch my courses to brand marketing next year, and I'm gonna be studying Cape Town. So basically, brand marketing is like building up a brand. There's a lot of companies uh, out there that are you know trying to build up their brands, but they don't really know. There's a lot of techniques, you know, to make things easier for you as well and save money. So, I mean, building up a brand is that's that's what you need to do nowadays. You got to actually come up with your own brand, and you know, just kind of like promotes a lot. And you, you talked about Tomorrowland. Is that your dream festival for playing at, or is? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't. Fest? I wouldn't. I would say Awakenings would be. It's a very techno based. Okay, I might be a bit, um, you know, naive. Where Where is that? What's it about? Uh, pff, well, it's in Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, the Amsterdam techno is very, very on point there, and like, I don't know. It's just there's a lot of events out there that I would obviously strive and love to play at. But Tomorrowland would be the best to actually go to, you know, and obviously, um, experience. yeah, like, I mean, if you look at all the, like the EDM guys, like Martin Garrix and stuff, I actually went to go see him, was it two years or last year? I don't know. At Ultra. Uh, it was mad to see that guy on stage, like the energy and stuff, like, oh my word. But like, I mean, uh, for me, it's more, I'm not like really a main stage guy. I would say I would, I'm, I'm more, a, a very underground, like that second stage yeah, techno, yeah. you know, like own the stage kind of guy like i would <laughs> smash the techno dude <laughs> so let's come to that part of the interview when you can give yourself a shout out your instagram events anything uh for someone watching all the links will be in the bio and it'll also be in the cards so yeah this is just a chance for you to kind of shout yourself out with anything you want go ahead <laughs> all right guys what's up okay so darren stadler other otherwise known as d state um i'm a resident dj at terrace stenbosch you guys can come check any of my sets out there wednesdays fridays saturdays you name it um yeah you guys can follow me on uh, instagram darren underscore uh, underscore stadler and uh yeah pretty much and obviously you go check my soundcloud out d state any, any events company uh yeah influencers is on instagram influence events um you can check that it's also linked to my actual main account and yeah they'll be just telling you guys all about uh like when we're hosting and like when it is and uh yeah just go check my soundcloud out and still trying to like you know get the following for that so uh, awesome and uh shout out for family and friends anybody that's helped you on your come up and here's the chance for you to be able to say oh yeah shot to that person oh yeah, oh, yeah. well firstly uh i just want to say uh shout out to my girlfriend for like supporting me Yanka cute, cute, <laughs> cute. and then uh yeah barton dryer dry <laughs> uh yeah he's been that guy's been supporting me for for ages and emilio abrams also your those 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 two oaks have been supporting me out throughout the whole way uh and me and emilio abrams also released two tracks on on my soundcloud um we actually made a remix of that seven uh from seven uh, colors of the rainbow yeah 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 that's a really good track and then um 
yeah, shout out to Luke Van Holtz, Vincent Bailey for coming out. Fucking yes, sick, man. Yes. Oh, yeah, and like all my other mates, I can appreciate it, guys, for the support and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, dude. So, shot so much for the interview. Really appreciate it. Uh, lots of love here from AVG. Uh, we really hope that uh, your business, your brand, your music can go very, very far. Shot for the interview. And, yeah, uh, thanks, guys. Good luck with everything, my man. Shot. Bless up.